Hello friends, welcome to the Cloud and Data Science channel. In today's session, we are going to see what are the eight key Azure services to become an Azure Data Engineer. In the real world projects, if we want to migrate data from on-prem to Azure platform, or if we want to build a batch data pipeline, or if we want to build a streaming data pipeline, or if we want to build the data lake or lake house or Azure Data Warehouse, then these are the eight Azure services that are most commonly used in the real world projects. I suggest to watch the complete video and under for I suggest to watch the complete video so that you can understand the eight key Azure resources. Then if you practice by creating free Azure account that will help you to become the Azure data engineer. First one is Azure data lake storage. Azure data lake storage is also called ADLS. ADLS Gen 2 or it is also called Data Lake it is a data storage platform in the Azure and it eliminates data silos with a single storage platform it provides various storage types to optimize the cost like hard tire, cold tire, or archive tire. Cold tire or archive tire. The security is implemented by Azure Active Directory and role-based access control. If you want to connect to the Azure Data Lake from on-prem, you can use OAuth Azure Active Directory and we can maintain role-based access control for various containers in the Azure Data Lake storage. In the Azure Data Lake storage, we will create various containers and each container has various folders. So we can maintain access control lists at the folder level. So it is similar to HDFS file system and the security is implemented at the file level and it improves the performance and it is so help to protect the data with security features like encryption at rest. It is used to store the structured, unstructured and semi-structured data at petabyte scale. Structured, unstructured, and semi structured data at petabyte scale. Next one is Azure Stream Analytics. Azure Stream Analytics is used to build the real time data pipelines to process the data in the real time. So basically, we can consume the data from the Azure Event Hub using the Stream Analytics and process that using the simple SQL and then write to the output or plug into the Azure BI, Power BI to uh, publish the real-time dashboards. We can use Azure portal to create the Azure data pipeline for the real-time data within minutes and it also has the elastic capacity to build our streaming pipeline to process the millions of events at sub-second latencies and is has built-in recovery and machine learning capabilities for advanced scenarios. It uses a simple SQL queries to perform various analytics and also it provides machine learning functions integration with the Azure streaming pipeline. Next one is Azure SQL database. It is a PaaS service platform as a service and it used to store 
transactional data, relational data at petabytes scale, right? And it provides various features like various features like hyperscale and elastic pool. So one is elastic pool. Elastic pool and second one is hyperscale. Elastic pool is nothing but various databases within the same SQL server can share the resources compute so that the unused resources will be used effectively for the based on the load and hyperscale it provides horizontally scalable storage and compute to support at large scale data loads next one fourth one is azure cosmos database this is the nosql database it provides various apis like Cassandra API, Mongo Data API, Gremlin API to store uh, document data, JSON data, and graphical data, Core SQL Database API. It is horizontally scalable. It provides uh, very uh, high availability and low latency, uh, milliseconds of response, and uh, five nines availability. Azure Cosmos DB also provides various consistency levels. Okay, so it is basically no SQL database. And here we will create within the database containers and our collections. These are similar to tables in a SQL database and within the container, we will store the documents or items. Okay. Next one is fifth one Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory basically is used to migrate the data from on-prem to Azure platform. We can use self-hosted integration runtime to migrate the data from on-prem to this is nothing but a compute self-hosted integration runtime and it is used to build the batch data pipelines, batch data pipelines and it is used to integrate various with various uh, other Azure services like we can call the Databricks notebook or stored procedure and we can orchestrate workflow end to end and we can automate by scheduling the jobs. It also has the data flow various using the data flow we can perform various data transformations and data processing and we can integrate with either Azure Data Lake or other databases like Azure SQL database and Azure Cosmos database. So we, we, we can read the data and do some processing using the data flow and data factory and write the data. Next one, sixth one, Azure Databricks. Azure Databricks is a unified platform to run all types of analytics workplace. Basically it is built based on the Spark clusters. And here we can use various notebooks either using the PySpark or Scala or Java to process the data and we can perform various complex and uh, logic to process the transformations to process the data at petabyte scale and it also has the ML flow for building the models, training the models and then uh, entire life cycle we can maintain, we can uh, track the life cycle of the ML models. Next one is Azure Synapse. Azure Synapse is a lake house where we can implement either Spark pools or dedicated SQL pools or serverless SQL pools. Using the Spark notebooks, we can uh, again do the data processing either PySpark or either uh, other language. And in Azure Synapse, we can also integrate with Power BI. After processing the data, we can publish the uh, metrics or directly integrate with the dashboard. We will perform data warehousing and big data analytics here. Azure Synapse also supports Delta Lake, where we will uh, Delta format, where we will uh, able to update the data and merge the data. So Azure Synapse basically used it to build the data lakes, Delta Lakes, and also lake houses. 
we can integrate with various data pipelines to automate the pipeline uh, similar to data factory using the azure synapse it also provides various uh, connectors to integrate with other azure resources the last one is azure data explorer i heard so many people are confused with uh, azure data explorer with uh, storage explorer storage explorer is different from the azure data explorer azure data explorer is a analytic platform where we can perform analytics using the custo query it is custo query language very high, uh, high performance language and on the petabytes of scale basically it is used to, to perform analytics on time series and telemetry data it supports graphical data and uh, very efficient to perform the analytics on the json format data we can also integrate with azure synapse i think i covered all these common day to day uh, projects azure resources that are used in day to day projects if you install free azure account and practice all these azure resources eight uh, services uh, you will become um, you will be able to implement these azure services in your real world projects thanks for watching if you have not subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos thank you bye bye